think I heard it first time when I was like eight, nine years old, and it made a huge impression on me then. And uh, my father used to play string quartet, so he played this piece also at home. And uh, I do feel I have a very <laughs> strong and special relation to the piece. <laughs> It always makes me wonder that you talk of uh, the late Schubert, of a guy that was 30. I mean, with such a wisdom and, and, and so much life experience in, in happiness and pain. And what I love about Schubert is the subtle line between beauty and sadness. You never really know if you should smile with utter joy because it's so beautiful or if you should let your tears just come and, and cry because it's so sad. So with the most simple means Schubert is able to create an atmosphere which is so much on the borderline of, of, of uh, contradicting feelings, but it creates a complete unique atmosphere. The group has worked together for a long time. They have um, feeling and opinion about how they play and how, how their music should be sounding. And it is a big challenge always to sort of come into a group like this. It's also incredibly inspiring to get to know the way they think and the way they feel about the music. And, uh, uh, but it is not easy for a string player uh, as me, who are more used to playing like bigger concertos with the orchestra, uh, which takes a totally different type of playing than what you do when you play chamber music. He has this incredible uh, natural musicality. He has this unbelievable generous warmth of sound as a cellist. And, and he has a wonderful way of also communicating. Um, um, he's very always concerned about really being part of the group, which is absolutely wonderful. Uh, and yet he, he puts in his, his soloistic qualities, his great personality. So uh, it's great to follow him. He gives impulses, but he's also a wonderful team player who, who loves to join in, to, to look for a sound that blends and um, we, we love to work with him because it's always something you can learn of. <laughs> 